Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we might have an answer as to why there is such a uh, uh, kerfuffle over Moses Ingram and the character of Reva in Obi-Wan. You say kerfuffle, I say definite push to make you like this character to the place of where you're even like trying to insinuate people might be racist if they don't. Yeah, yes. You will love this character. You must like this character because we have plans for her. Yeah, so there is a rumor. Now, this is a rumor, but it totally makes sense. A rumor that uh, they're going to spin Reva off into her own series. Which, you know, I think the problem is Reva could have been her own series to begin with, and that would have been fine. The issue people have, and this is what, where Lucasfilm is misunderstanding. The issue people have isn't because, you know, I mean, well, besides the writing of the character, they thought they were getting Vader and Obi-Wan, and that was what they were getting. And instead, you're getting Obi-Wan, and the foil to, er, to Obi-Wan is Reva. Yeah, a uh, character that was never mentioned before, never hinted at before. And uh, yeah, judging by the reaction from even Disney Star Wars fans is not terribly well liked. Has nothing to do with her skin color, has nothing to do with her gender. Uh, it's just that like this is supposed to be the Obi-Wan show and it's the Reva show already, but she's going to get another show. And people are like, well, you know, the plot twist would be if Obi-Wan was actually the lead in, in the Reva show. Yeah, that would be because basically it's about her and this one. And that's what they're not understanding, that, that people are mad about that, but they keep taking it as, you're just misogynist and you're just haters. And it's like, no, you promised, you said Vader Obi-Wan. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, almost 270,000 uh, subs. We're like 20 away or something like that. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Greatly appreciated. Make sure you're still subscribed uh, because, you know, YouTube being YouTube. So this is interesting. It is a rumor, a rumor, but it makes so much sense because Disney is doing with Star Wars what they've done with Marvel, which is every show and every movie is just a commercial for the next yes, show or movie pretty much you know it's all they used to call it the backdoor pilot where they would have an episode of a tv show that didn't make a lot of sense it would introduce like new characters and stuff and it was like what was the point of this and it's like oh they're gonna spin that off into their own right. show they make sure people know who they are the facts of life came from different strokes you yeah know, and it's yeah yeah so anyway um this this makes infinitely more sense the thing is people aren't into it uh this this is a sampling of the top comments from a pro Disney Star Wars board. Right. We're not talking like Facebook. we went with some place that is like, oh, it's a toxic people. No, we went to the actual place that they would go and be like, yay. Yeah, this is actually a Disney Star Wars uh, board or page. And most of these commenters are women. They're women. And they don't yeah, they like. they are women. Most of them are women. They don't like Riva. No. Oh, yeah. that's because they're internalized misogynists. And they're not all white either. Um, I wasn't a fan of her acting or how her character was written. I enjoy a good villain, but she just didn't deliver. No, it's not because of her skin color. I care less about that as long as the acting is good. And here's the thing. People are now, every time you hear a comment, I don't like her, but it's not because I'm a racist. Because even though Lucasfilm did not say if you didn't like her, you're racist, the implication kind of has been taken by the media and has been going on for years. Like it or you're an istifo. Yeah, and they keep doing this, and this is this is the shield. Now, you know, we thought it was weird that they were going out of their way to defend this particular character. And again, if the rumor is true that they're planning to do a series, um, and we'll talk about how many damn series Disney Plus has has planned, uh, then that that makes a lot more sense because they're like, shit, we had a whole series planned around this character, and people are don't like her. And yeah. what are we gonna do? And you know? and I think that that people were starting to like, you know, they were preemptively even before the first episode came out, they started this whole oh somebody sent you know this actress comments, which you know I 100 percent believe that there were comments sent to her. I think that that is a a, a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent of the yeah. actual fans of Star Wars or people like like that follow Star Wars. It is not indicative of the majority of people who like Star Wars. They know this. They put out a statement saying they don't stand up with racism. I agree with them. Nor do we. Uh, it's shit. But that, of course, they knowingly they knowingly did it because the media. As always, just ran with it right away. And if you don't like Star Wars, you're dystophobic, whatever. And they knew that would happen. Yep. Uh, we'll go through some other comments here. Uh, Darth Vader's my favorite character of all time. I'm typically on his side and on the sides of those who stand with him. But this character is terrible. I would skip her scenes if I could. 
I hope Darth Vader cuts her in half with a lightsaber in the next episode. Likely not, as she's getting her own show. She's an okay character, but I don't think she needs her own series. I mean, look how long it took for us to get Obi-Wan. Have we gotten Obi-Wan yet? <laughs> Have we gotten an actual Obi-Wan kind show? Kind of. Not really, yeah. Not uh, the Obi-Wan we know. Uh, they could wrap her story up in half an episode. She was a youngling, got conscripted. I thought it said constipated. <laughs> Wants to find her family that was taken from her. Figures out the dark side, nothing but suffering. Uh, gets killed the end. Shaping, shaking my effing head. Terrible character. Possibly the most boring one-note character in the history of Star Wars. Grr, I'm Reva. Cut off your hand, lady. Why? Because I'm Reva. Reva smash. Reva scream. Reva jump over rooftops because evil. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> you get the idea. You and, get the idea. This was, like, this was a board that was, you know... Pro-Disney pro... Star Wars. So... Yeah, people are really not liking this. They keep trying to, to send this message. Oh, you know, the, oh, it's one of the highest performing. The credit, everybody loves it. Rotten Tomatoes says something different. Of course, they're yelling about review bombing. Maybe people just really don't like the show. Um, and it's nothing to do with the actress. It's like the way they, they, they wrote it. They basically took the Obi-Wan show that was supposed to get Vader mm -hmm. and then put this other character in. And people, they're not a very good character and people don't like it. Uh, yeah, but again, this is coming from Epic Stream, and if, if you don't like it, you're a racist. For the uninitiated, Moses Ingram has been the target of racist attacks from the toxic side of the Star so Wars So what? Fandom. I mean, I'm not saying to dismiss it, but what I'm saying is that doesn't dismiss everything else because a couple people sent her some shitty comments, which I, that, and I do not condone that they sent no, her I comments. No, I don't think you should Nobody do does. Nobody I have not met anybody that. who said that that was okay. It's not okay. However... That does not, you know, excuse everything else because a couple shitty comments were sent her way. You know how many shitty comments I get sent my way? So now everybody like Disney has to completely excuse everything I say and completely agree with everything I say. Otherwise, they themselves are also misogynists there wishing death upon me. So here's here's the thing. You know, instead of instead of putting your marginalized actors and actresses in the crosshairs, give them good characters. Right. You know, because really what you're doing is you're setting them up for failure. It was the same with, with Rose Tico. She was a terrible character. And you put Kelly Marie Tran in the crosshairs. Not, again, not condoning any of the, the hatred or vitriol thrown her way. But it did not help that you gave her an insufferable, annoying right. character. Right. Like, I like Kelly Marie Tran. I do not like Rose Tico. And I said, if you go back to any of our videos, I said that before The Last Jedi even came out. You know, it's, you know I, I said, I've said this many times. And I said it when we were doing videos on, on before Rise of Skywalker and everything, too. So here's the thing. It's like if they had maybe done her as her own show and, and gave her a backstory leading into her character, you might, you know, and gave her some depth, people might be OK with it. But they didn't want her in this show. They have no idea who the hell she is. And they're like, what the I, I don't get this. So despite all the negativity, she's got a lot to be thankful for. They're supposedly, supposedly going to do a show. I have to wonder if this isn't like Lucasfilm PR putting feelers out there to be like, what's the reaction, you know, to this Reva character? Oh, and it's going to be because they're all the racists stopped it. It's going to be like Dr. Afra, where like this character came out of nowhere and they're like, oh, yeah, you have to like Dr. Afra. Well, you know what's really weird on Twitter? They're, they keep People keep sharing pictures of Moses Ingram, which I have no problem with her. And these people, you know how like, I get the cartoon stands and yeah. they're like, oh my, it's my God, it's my God, it's, I love it, you worship this person. That's how they are. They were literally acting like this way with this actress as they do with like characters out of like, uh, you know, She-Ra or something. It's creepy. If I were her, I'd be flipping creeped out. So, uh, yeah, I just, I just want to. I just want to um, put this out there real quick because I've gotten to the point now where I, I'm not angry about anything that Disney does with Star Wars because I'm just going to remind you all, it's technically not canon. One, as we talked about before we started recording, Lucasfilm doesn't even believe in canon anymore. I was going to say, yeah, what is canon anyway? I mean, they said it doesn't matter. Canon doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So if it doesn't matter to them, and we know damn well that Disney Star Wars does not matter to George Lucas. Uh, he has had uh, multiple fallings out with them. They screwed him over when it came to episodes 7, 8, and 9. They were going to use his, they told him they were going to use his outline, and then they they flushed it down the toilet as soon as the deal closed. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has made comments. He made a comment at a school. Kids were asking him about Star Wars. Well, it wasn't at school. It was like on a video with Or a video chat because, with the school. Yeah, because yeah. COVID. And um, he was like, yeah, like Disney Star Wars isn't my Star Wars, you know, whatever. And his wife was like, stop, George. Uh, so he's made multiple comments to that effect. So it makes it so much easier 
when Disney shoots themselves in the foot with Star Wars because it, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. It doesn't. Even that, just ask Lucasfilm. None of it matters. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> giving credit where credit is due, Reba has been one of the highlights of Obi-Wan. Well, well add to this a person's opinion. A lot of people think otherwise. I'm definitely on board with the idea of her getting her a solo project down the line. We don't know much about the character, and the standalone series would definitely be a great venue I mean, for fans. This is sad. Four episodes in. She's basically her show. We don't know much about the character. We don't know much about the character. All we know is that she wants to get Obi-Wan and she doesn't care whose hands she has to come do it because she's just evil because she's evil. We we don't we don't know much about Obi-Wan in this show either, other than he's old and sad. Yeah. You know? Sad old Obi-Wan. Actually, you know it'd be freaking hilarious is if they did the Obi-Wan show and it was just like just him sitting in his hut drinking tea. <laughs> but I don't for think six I hours. Watch it. But they said, we can ex further explore her motives and why exactly she has a ma major beef with the Jedi Master. We're four episodes in on a show about Obi-Wan that she's the main villain. Don't you think they should tell us why? Yeah. Now By this, four episodes out of six? So this is Epic Stream, right? Um, and these comments were actually to this article being posted in a pro-Disney Star Wars. And they're the top comments. Mm -hmm. People are like, yeah, Reva's annoying as hell. Like, we like Obi-Wan, but like I wish I could skip. The yes. scenes with her in it. So what's that tell you? It tells you that that uh, Disney Star Wars, that Lucasfilm is going to keep shooting itself in the foot. Oh well, yeah, they just keep shooting stuff out. Like I, I did this earlier. They're, they're brand fatigue, anyone? Look at this. Look at that, the Marvel shit. I know, shit. and they don't even. And and yeah, and we'll go down to the Star Wars. The Star Wars. I noticed that uh, Acolyte isn't on there. Uh, I noticed that Rogue Squadron isn't on there. I noticed that uh, Kevin Feige's show movie isn't on there. And now we're talking there might be another, another uh, Obi-Wan season. I know there's supposed to be another Andor season. It's not on there. And now they're talking they might do Reva. Not on there because it's not announced. But the other ones, you know, so people are just getting really, really, really tired of it. Between now and the end of the uh, end of the year, we're getting summer vacation, whatever the hell that is. And or Bad Batch season two, Tales of the Jedi and Hunters by the end of the year. And Mandalorian by February of next year. Yeah, I never thought in my life, uh, 10 years ago, if you told me I would be so fucking sick of Star Wars, you know, if there, were, uh, if you told me there was too much Star Wars, and I'd be like, there can never be enough Star Wars. This is from a person who used to, well, me too, and this is from a person who used to buy every book, the book yeah. as soon as it came out, and I'd, I'd have it read within a couple days. I mean, I remember the late 80s, early 90s, we were dying for Star Wars stuff. And then the, the Zon trilogy yeah, came out. Yeah, which is so good. And the, the role-playing game came out. And they started trickling new stuff out. And then the special editions. And then the prequels. And I love Star Wars throughout all of it until The Last Jedi. And then all the drama around it. And then just Disney vomiting so much shit it's just it's just product that's all it is all this reminds me of is the spongebob squarepants episode where they're they have the jellyfish caught and they keep squeezing all the, the jelly out of them to the, they're like they're like Ugh. you know they're like ready to die and he wants to free them because they're dying yeah. that's what this reminds me of they're squeezing every little bit of jelly they can out of this stupid franchise marvel and star wars i mean it's basically the science fiction flavored disney property and the superhero action flavored Disney property. And that's all it is. It's just Disney product. It's slap it on a mug, slap it on you're a tea kettle. To shut up and consume. Or shut you're, up and or consume. you're an istaphone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I don't care anymore. And a lot of people don't care. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open and brewed through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding, he's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh.
No. Where's the bootleg? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>